In this video, we're going to look at exception handling. These are four steps we're going to do. Let's go. Let's start in CPI, and I will go through all these four steps. For now, I create a new package called exception handling. And I'm going to create an iFlow. Call it simulate error. So send the HTTP simulate error and now we're going to create a request reply to this old data service and we try to select a column or field that not exit XYZ and this one will throw error. This is to simulate error. Let's do this first. Calling to this and the query is put it at here. We are doing a get and for this old data is there's no authentication. Okay. <coughs> By default this one will leave it on. Mean if there's an error it will throw an error. Okay, let's deploy first. Then go to Postman. Now I'm going to create a new collection called Exception. And I'm going to copy Eiffel, put it here, and this one is simulate error, simulate error. Yes, simulate error. And there's a uh, there's nobody. We just do a get only. And yes, we get an error. Let's look at the error. The error mentioned uh, HTTP operation fear invoking this endpoint with his status code 400 and you have the this one respond body also So this is a response body that getting back. But although we have the body here, the processing the error is not handled properly. It just error out and it return this 
you can call it uh, it's very raw and not useful respond back to whoever calling this service this is not what we want so now we want to do this step is to add the exception sub process or we call it exception local process uh, let's go back to the uh, this iFlow here so now I make more space and to add the sub uh, sorry add the exception sub process we choose this put it in here and the simplest way is we use a content modifier to get the error detail exception detail using these two expression I copy paste and to make it more easy to differentiate I draw a line here okay going to deploy okay deploy already and run it again now now you can see although the the code is still is 400 just now also 400 but now we get the details already this is from exception message and this is from the stack trace the detail step on how it get all the error here yep this is the the uses of these two <coughs> next i want to show you is the behavior of n messages and n sorry error n event what are their different when doing the error handling by default, when you add an exception sub process, the you can see the error n here is is called n messages. Means if we check the we check the latest error that handle the status now is completed already because. We are using n message. How the flow work is <coughs> when the flow come from here to to the start, go to request reply, we call the receiver, and it's fair. Exception occur. The processing controlling will continue from exception sub process here till the end then then the end already all the step after the request reply it won't proceed further anymore it just end, end here yep this is the 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 behavior of end message and if we change this end message we change it to error and event put it here and deploy again this time you get the same error <coughs> like this one also showing the message id only but the difference is you in the exception sub process you already have a chance to gather the the error exception or error message details 
stack trace detail already and you have the chance to store it somewhere else or log it in in let's say in SFTP server or, or if it's error then you store the payload source payload to the data store for later reprocessing my point is you have a chance to do something already and able to detect when there is an error occur there's a you main uses of the exception sub process detect exception and then do something to it so after you do something and if you still want to let it fail i mean let the in the cpi monitoring still showing as a fail status you can do so by just using the error n error n event then it will still showing as a failure here that's all for this video for a very first simple introduction on the exception sub process Thanks for your time and attention.